Hey, we're going to take a look. I, I've been playing this song for like 50 years. Not quite, but close. And um, uh, in the spirit of playing blues tunes, I, it, it comes out different every time. This is, of course, Death Don't Have No Mercy by Reverend Gary Davis. Um, and in this lesson, we're going to look really specifically at how he played the first verse that he sang to and just the first guitar break. And, um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to a lesson later on more about improvising over the chord progression, maybe look at Yorma's version, talk about the Grateful Dead's version and stuff. But I, I've been meaning to at least get this ball rolling with the way Davis played it on the recording that I believe 1960, Harlem Street Singer. Um, I got it from a Biograph album called just the legendary Reverend Gary Davis. That was the first album of his I could find when I was in the early 70s trying to track him down. And... Um, but a lot of this has been, uh, so I've got it all transcribed just pretty close to what I played right there. I was just trying to get most of the runs the, the way they came out that first time, but uh, they, they don't always have to go that way. And we'll take a look at the solo. a really strange chord that he was really good at playing. Anyway, those are the two parts we're going to take a look at in this lesson. Um, there is there is one fairly, well, one chord you're going to find difficult. And it's a, a chord out of the D, using the D family as a movable bar chord like the E family and the A family. But for the D family, you got to have to make a big stretch back from the fifth fret. In this case, it's a G chord. Played with the, your first finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string, and then a D shape with your other three fingers up at the seventh and eighth frets. Now, according to Stefan Grossman, this was when Davis plays this chord, it looks like this. I mean, his hands just all wrapped up around the neck and it looks terrible. And according to Grossman, because of an accident that he'd had and fingers broken and things like that before, this was like the way his hand naturally laid on, you know, fell on the guitar if he just put his fingers there. Um, you're going to find that kind of difficult. And I'm going to offer another. I'm going to offer up some other suggestions of ways to, to avoid that chord. If you if you like. Anyway, um, the chord progression is very basic. It's, it's um, you know, we've got, we've got four four measure lines, A minor, E minor, sorry, A minor to B7, and then two more measures of E minor with a, a kind of fill. The second line is kind of uh, E minor or G as he uses, and then A7, D7, G. Third line is two measures of E minor, two measures of A minor, or a C. E minor to C, E minor, B7. Okay, there you have the chord progression, but I'll break it down a little bit more in the next segment, and then we'll take a look at just a couple of pages of tab that I have. So the, um, the preliminary lesson here on Death Don't Have No Mercy.